CrossTube. My name's Kim. Welcome to my channel. My channel's primarily about my love for cross stitch. Um, I've been doing it now for probably over 20 years. Um, and I have recently become a non-monogamous stitcher and thanks to all of my lovely floss tube enablers and my friends and um, the Facebook community. And for a long time, I really thought I was the only cross stitcher out there and that there was nobody else that it was like an old lady thing to do. And then I found Facebook and all of these awesome groups and friends and floss too. And it's been really great. So thanks to you all, I have more whips than I can manage right now with my life. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and do a whip parade for you guys today. A little bit about me. I'm I live in Colorado. I work in the social work field. So for me, cross stitching is really kind of my release at the end of the day. It's my self care. Um, working with uh, clients all day long can be really demanding and stressful. So this is kind of how I relax and get to turn off my brain and just do something that I really enjoy. Um, so I have my first finish of 2023. So we're going to start with that and just kind of jump right into the rest of them. Primarily a full coverage stitcher, um, but I've been really kind of working on small projects in between the my, my full coverage projects so that I can have some finishes and feel like I'm actually making some progress. So the first one is gonna be my finish. This is actually on, um, I believe the fabric is uh, Leo, and this is by Grace Notes Fabrics. Um, sorry that the lighting's not the best. But, so this is stitched on, I want to say it's 32 count linen. I did it as a model stitch for Grace Note Fabrics. Um, and the pattern is actually done by Amanda Dion at Creatively, or Creative Creations. So that is my finish. I'm going to be packing this up and sending this back out to Corin over at Grace Note Fabrics. The next project that I've been working on is also a model stitch. I've been working on it for a while. I feel really bad. It's for Brandy over at Be Stitch Me for her new shop. Um, and this is done on one of her fabrics. It is a linen. Unfortunately, she sent it to me and I ripped off the tag. So I have no idea what color it is. But I am working on the Tiny Modernist Autumn Sampler. Um, this is a ba the band sampler. And that's how far I am on that. This one is probably one of my favorites to stitch on, um, and I really need to get working more on this so that I can get it done. Um, I really love how cute those little cows came out and that little person um, raking the leaves. So this one has been really fun to stitch on, and I can't wait to pick this one back up. The next project that I have been working on is um, something that I'm making for my office. Um, my coworkers always tell me how empty my cubicle is. And so I decided that I was going to make something that me, that will kind of send a message to all of my coworkers, um, and just remind them of how special our work is, um, especially on those days where maybe things aren't going perfectly. So this is by, I want to say it's Emma Kondagin. I think that's her last name. I don't know how to say it. Um, I got it from, I think it was her book, Cross Stitch for Earth. Um, and this is also on a 28 count um, Be Stitch Me Linen. I believe it's Lunar. And this will say, never underestimate the difference you make. Um, we work in child protection and so some of our days are really hard and it doesn't feel like that we are making a difference and I think that it's really important kind of have that reminder to look at every day of you know today may have not have been the best but we made it and every day that we're here we do make a little bit of a difference. So the next project is so close to a finish. This is actually my travel project. Um, so I work on it a lot when I take my stepson to fencing or um, any of those fun like child 
things that you have to do as a parent and you have to take them somewhere and sit and wait. It's also whenever I actually like travel. Um, so we have spring break coming up here in Colorado and um, we are actually taking a family trip to Hawaii, which is about a six and a half hour flight. So I'm going to bring this one with me and I really hope that I'm going to get a finish on it while we're out on vacation. Um, because I can, I, I really want to put this up for the spooky season. It's one of my favorites. Um, and so this will also probably get framed and put into my office, but this one is, um, Stitch on Haunted by Picture This Plus. Um, I believe this is on a 16 count even weave, maybe. Um, I started this so long ago. Hopefully you guys can all see that. Um, this is a Haunted Mansion by Tiny Modernist. Um, and as you can see, it is really close to a finish. I'm sorry about all the wrinkles. I just took it out of the key snap before recording this and I did not iron it, so... Um, but yeah, this one's been really fun to stitch on. Also, I love Tiny Modernist. I love their patterns. And um, and this was uh, one of my first times ever stitching on hand-dyed fabric. Um, obviously fell in love with it. And I really just need to get this finished. So my next projects are all going to still be in their Q-snaps because you can, kind of, you can pretty much see the, the progress of where it is. Um, so please excuse all of the magnetic cable ties and if there's any like needles, threads, um, park stitches or anything like that. Um, I do use these little um, thimbles here and that's really blurry. Um, but so I do use these here um, as my little thimbles to help protect my fingers. And then also I use um, if I have key snaps that are kind of loose, I do use that. Um, these are the lining for your cabinets. So I cut that and kind of for extra tension. So this project is, um, and it's kind of see-through, um, but this project is going to be, I wonder if I do this, if it'll help. I'll just take this project and put it behind here to try to block that there. This is um, my first ever mir Mirabilia. Um, this is Aphrodite Mermaid, um, and this one is also done on the called for linen, which I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. Um, but this has also been one of my favorite projects. I mean, I guess they're all my favorites, so I'm going to say that throughout this video, I think. Um, but really, I was like, oh, this is kind of like a rite of passage as a cross-stitcher to do a Mirabilia. Um, it's my first time ever working with um, Krynik which is like a love-hate relationship. Um, obviously, I don't have any of the beadings or anything like that on here yet either. I'm kind of, I think I'm going to wait to do the back stitching, which is like the bane of my existence and the beading all at the end. Um, curious what you all do when you do your mirabilias, if you do the back stitching as you go and then you do the beading or kind of how you work yours. Um, but that is where I am with that. I've probably been working on this one for about a year now. Um, and on and off, as I said, I have a lot of projects. I definitely participate in the Mirabilia or the Mermaid Monday sale with Alara the Stitcher. Um, I think that a couple of other people, I think that, um, Judy from an Aussie and a Kiwi world, um, also, um, works on that. So we're all over on Instagram with the hashtag, Mer uh, Mermaid Mondays sell. So if anybody wants to jump in on that, feel free. Um, I'd love to see your progress. The rest of my stitching, I believe, is just going to be, sorry, I'm looking around to make sure, um, are my full coverage projects. So um, I will insert pictures of all of these projects of like what the final picture or the final product will look like if I can figure out how to edit videos. Um, so this is going to be my newest full coverage start. Um, this is actually by the Cross Stitch Studio and this is going to be their the sea turtle um, that was just released. You can see my little Agnes needle minder down here um, of my sea turtle. I am 
absolutely obsessed with sea turtles, so I'm super excited um, to be going to Hawaii. Hopefully, I'll get to see one. So this is kind of where I am on that. There's not a whole lot of progress on here, and I'm sorry, I don't have stats. I'm really unprepared today. Um, and excuse all of the park threads. I am. Um, I will have stats and stuff next time, or if I remember, I'll put them in the comment box below. But this will be um, a lot of blues and dark blues and kind of teals um, until I get to the actual sea turtle and then we'll have a couple of other colors. Um, but I'm really excited about this one. Um, I'm thinking about maybe taking that one to Hawaii too because it kind of seems fitting, but we'll see if I end up putting that in my bag. The next one that I am working on is um, by Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is Mini All Dogs Go to Heaven 2 by Jim Warren. Um, this one I'm doing on 25 count. This one is done 10 stitch, 2 over 1. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the sea turtle is being done also on 25 count. That's actually being done 1 over 1 full cross. Um, so this is where I am on Mini All Dogs Go to Heaven 2. Um, I love the colors in this and every once in a while I just kind of pick it up and, and put in some stitches. It's not a focus piece or anything like that. Please excuse the sticky mark up here on my, on my Q-snap, um, from my little, need my little, um, thumbtack thing over there. So there is many all dogs go to heaven too charted by heaven and earth designs and it was uh, art by jim warren um i feel like i'm missing some whips so i'll add them next time i guess if i find them or think about what they are the next two pieces are kind of a focus piece for me um i start the this next one is my very first full coverage after finding heaven and earth designs um and this i'm making for my daughter because she used to ride in um, a program here called Western Ears. Um, I realized that this was a unicorn after I bought it, but it's still fine. Her favorite colors are also purple. We're in the process of redecorating her room, painting it, making it into a fun teenager room. And so, um, and it's going to be purple. So hopefully <clears throat> she doesn't fall out of love with purple by the time that I finish this, because I've been working on this for about a year and a half now. Um, so this is definitely going to be one of my um, my kind of focus pieces over the next couple of months. And I'm probably going to have to like move this side to side so you can see everywhere because I do have it in an Omnic or Omanic, um, what, however you say it, I scroll frame. Um, that way I can just have it all out together. This is, again, by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is, uh, I believe it's Black Shimmer Rose um, by Lori Prindle. And here is where we are on that piece. As you can see, it's pretty big. Um, so I can kind of zoom out a little bit. So yeah, this one was a, I had no idea how big this was. And I was like, oh, that's a cute chart. And my daughter saw it and we bought it. So, um, and then I went and kitted it up and got the fabric and said, oh, that's a really big project. Um, this is by far one of the biggest projects that I have ever worked on. So that has been in progress for probably about, like I said, about a year and a half now. The next project is one that I'm working on with my friend Kristen. She is not a floss tuber. Um, I believe that she does have an Instagram, which I can link below. Um, and I met Kristen on the Heaven and Earth Designs um, official Facebook page, and we've kind of become instant friends. I'm super excited because in May, I'm actually going to go meet up with her for the second time um, and at Stitch North, so we're going to get like a really fun stitchy weekend. And I'm really excited because Alara the Stitcher here on Flosstube is also going to be coming with us. Um, she's also a really good friend of mine and it'll be my first time meeting her and I'm super excited about just having a girls weekend full of stitching and no kids and no responsibilities. So this one um, is uh, by Donna Gelsinger, again, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, and this is called Cozy Christmas. Again, if I can figure out how to edit videos, I will update 
and put insert pictures somewhere in here um, about uh, what these are gonna look like when they're done. So this is how far we are on Cozy Christmas. Um, so as you can see, I did that star and you can see my little Christmas tree needle minder. That one's from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And um, you can kind of see I'm working on the tree in the background. I know as I start to move across, there's my little Santa and Mrs. Claus. Um, if I, when I start to move across that way, we get into a fireplace. That star, y'all, that star was, that was intense. Um, it was very confetti heavy. And I mean, so far this entire project, other than the blues, have been pretty confetti heavy. Um, and it has been... It has been a challenge. I've been working on this kind of, we pull it out in December, November, December, somewhere in there, and we work on it um, together. Sometimes we'll do like Zoom videos and stuff together um, and stitch on it. And so this doesn't get a lot of progress throughout the year. I'm hoping maybe to change that this year. Um, we are, so that progress that you just saw is probably maybe only like three months tops of work. Um, and we started this in Christmas of 2021. Um, so not a lot of progress. This is actually the only project that I'm doing that is um, on 32 count, even weave, uh, easy count Lugana. And this is being stitched two over one tenth stitch. Um, and I think if I could do it over again, I would probably do it one over one. Um, I don't know if I'd do it full cross, maybe 10 stitch. Um, I do like the coverage, especially on those blues, as you can see. I mean, there's like hardly any gapping in there and, and the coverage is really good. Um, but it does really get thick into the, um, thick in, in the, confetti areas and also on the back in the confetti areas so, um I actually will sometimes use a sharper needle um to help get through the fabric when it starts to get really bulky um so that is Cozy Christmas by Donna Gelsinger and that was charted by Heaven and Earth Designs I keep forgetting to mention the fabrics and the counts. So my um, shimmer, shimmer, black shimmer rose max colors is actually on 25 count um, easy guide Lugana. And that is being stitched one over one full cross. I did initially start that as two over one full cross. Um, I did not rip out those stitches. You probably couldn't even tell, but um, I realized that it was getting really bulky. And so I decided to switch that over to one over one. Um, and I really like that a lot better and it seems to be my go-to. So the last project that I have to show you guys is actually being stitched for my mother-in-law. Um, and she is, um, turning 70 this year. So I don't, I know I won't get it done in time for then, um, but it's been something I've been working on probably for about a year and a half now. It was my second Heaven and Earth Designs uh, project that I started. Um, and my mother-in-law in her room in her home has a um, very beachy theme. And so when my daughter and I saw this pattern on Heaven and Earth Designs, we were like, oh, that's perfect. Um, and we decided that it would look really good in her room. Um, and so she has seen it a couple of times over here, but she doesn't really, know, she saw it in its beginning stages. So she doesn't really know what it is or that it's for her. Um, and so this one um, probably hasn't been worked on since in about six months. So I'm hoping to pull this back out here as soon as I make it all the way across on um, my daughter's project. So that way I can um, get some more progress in this one. Um, so this is, um, and I forget the artist's name. And so I will put that down below. Um, but this one, oh, I remember it. Um, this is, uh, I believe it's called Treasures of the Sea. Um, and this one is being stitched on 25 count Lugana, um, on Easy Guide. And this is being stitched one over one full cross. Um, and it is by, I think his name is Oleg. And I can't say his last name. It starts with a G. So hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah. Okay. 
I promise I'll try to get better about these, but showing them on their frames is kind of hard. Um, so you see my little fish, and that is all the way across there on the side. I'm really nervous about this one um, because I think I may have put the fabric on wrong. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of fabric that is excess over on the other side. But also when I went and got this fabric, um, I don't know if where I got it from thought that I was doing this two over one or, or sorry, two over two and they just cut it way too big. So I'm really hoping I kind of counted and with all the extra fabric and stuff, I think it'll be okay. Um, but I'm just really hoping that I don't run out of room once I get to the bottom. So that's all of my projects that I have that I ran around the house and found before um, doing this whip parade. Um, I do appreciate all of you being here um, and watching my first floss tube. I'm pretty nervous about this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so I forgive me for all of my ums and my stuttering and just kind of being awkward. I, I'll get better maybe. Um, I don't know how often I will be here doing these videos. Um, my wife is currently at yoga, uh, so I thought it was a perfect time to jump on and do this video really quickly. Um, as I mentioned, we have some vacations coming up and just life in general sometimes doesn't really allow me to work on my projects because, you know, clients in crisis and stuff. So, um, I may not always have weekly progress, but I will try to come over here and post maybe every two weeks or every three weeks or we'll just see how it goes. Again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked what you saw, like my projects, want to continue to watch my videos and see my progress, please hit the like and subscribe button um, so you receive notifications when I record. Again, thanks for being here. Have a great stitchy week. We'll talk to y'all later.